All right, hey everyone. So in today's tutorial, we have one of the first patches that I ever digitized with my software. So this is the Team Mystic patch. So hopefully you learned something and hopefully you enjoy. All right, so for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to do these Pokemon patches. So right here, we got the Team Mystic, Valor, and Instinct uh, patch designs. We're doing like an applique patch, so we're not doing like a full fill. It's gonna save a whole bunch of stitches, and uh, I think it'll still look uh, just as good. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is one of the first patch designs I tried when I got hatched. So um, I think pretty much all newcomers can pretty much uh, learn a lot by doing these designs. So first thing we're gonna do, let's just go ahead and start a new canvas. So we're gonna hit new. We're gonna go ahead and just close the other one. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste my original design so with this let's just go ahead and make sure um, we pretty much do our border first all right so let's go ahead and select our object we're going to be doing pretty much a border that is 3.5 millimeters that's the size i like to put my patch borders on and let's just go and see how our size is. All right, let's change it back to US. And let's do about a 3.5 inch patch. And again, let's go ahead, change it back to millimeters so we can make sure that this is still a 3.5 millimeter design. That's what we're gonna put our patches in so we can go ahead and just shrink our image just a little bit more. Let's go ahead, drop it down. Just a little bit more. Let's make sure we get our design in there. So that'll work for that one. That'll end up working for that one. So that's a good size for all three. So let's go ahead and take our border. We're just gonna set it out of the way for now. And let's just go ahead and start with Team Mystic. So I'm gonna go ahead and center it. Let's go ahead, right click. Let's go ahead and lock it. And then we're gonna start with this design. We're gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna work our way up to minimize the amount of jump stitches. So we're gonna go digitize digitize, close shape, and let's just start working around. So left click, right click, left click, right click, coming around, left click, right click, hit backspace if you messed up. So left click, right click, left, right, left. We're gonna go right, start that curve a little bit too far. So let's just go about right there. Left click, left click, right, left, right. Didn't like that. So left, right, and then coming around. We are gonna make that little point, left click, and then finish it up. All right, um, obviously do not want that color. So hit O, select last object. Let's just go ahead and throw just a different color on there. That green is really pretty awful. So let's just pick, do a light blue for now. Actually, let's go a little bit different so we can see the differentiating uh, colors. All right. Let's go ahead, H. Um, all right, liking that. So let's just go ahead and do this next object. Actually hit H again, see where our start and stop points are. So let's just go ahead and actually start it. We just wanna make sure we are stopping at this corner so it can jump into the next design without cutting. So again, digitize close shape. Let's start down here, left, right. And again, we can pretty much go as fast as you can. All right, again, oh, I really, I always do this. 
you want to make sure H. All right, we're stopping right here, stopping there. We're going to start the next design. That's going to look perfect. Okay. So now we're going to do this part a little different. We're going to, if we started this design in the middle, we then have to go to this and probably jump cut to the other side. So I'm going to make a traveling stitch to do this wing first. All right. So pretty much dig digitize open shape. You're going to hit single run and we're just going to come up and hit enter hit O always don't change the color. So now we got that change of color. Let's go ahead and hit H start stop. And then we're going to do this wing first. Digitize close shape. Let's just go ahead and start down here. Come up. Work around this wing. All right. Come down. Again. A little bit too far. So. Uh, all right. Again, working around. Once you get the hang of it, it's going to be a lot easier. Again, this is a patch, can look a little rustic. Coming back. And then we're just going to close that off. All right. Again, change the color. I'm going to try and fix it on this next one. All right. So now that we're back here, again, we are going to do this middle part now. So, digitize close shape. Go and start right here. Come down. Let's go ahead and finish that one off. Oh, change the color. Okay. And actually, let's go ahead and hide this one real quick. Let's do these three first. So again, let's create that traveling stitch. Single run, change the color. So once this one finishes, we're gonna come right back along this line and then come up here, okay? Go to your sequence. You're actually gonna move it right there. We're gonna see where this one ends, which is right there, and then we're gonna swap the start point and the stop. That's gonna delete a trim. And then let's go ahead and do this top portion. Digitize close shape. We're gonna then just kind of make our little diamond. Okay. H, we're going to start there. Let's go ahead and stop at that corner. Digitize close shape. Let's then do this one. H, start, and then let's go and again, stop down here. Let's go ahead and duplicate this one. We want it the same. You're going to mirror it, then control, bring it right to this other side. Just a little bit. A little bit more and adjust it accordingly. All right. H, stop there. H, let's go ahead and start here. Deletes the trim. Let's go ahead and unhide all. Now we got this one back. All right, let's take our other wing. Now that this is done, we're going to actually stop it over on this corner. Take this wing, again, duplicate it. We're going to go ahead and mirror it. Hold that control, bring it all the way over. Keep that same dimension on the other side. Okay. As you can see, there's a trim right there. We're going to hit H. We're going to actually start this up here. Go back to T, click the middle, H. All 
So fix our sequence and then you see it just deleted that run stitch or that jump stitch. So that's gonna work perfect. All right, let's hit T again, get back to the middle. All right, we got our little logo here. It's gonna look perfect. And let's just do this uh, satin stitch on the outside. So digitize close shape. Actually, let's go back to the wing, hit H. Let's see where we're stopping. We can go ahead and stop up here. So we can just jump straight into the satin. Digitize close shapes. Uh, let's just go around. Enter. We're going to select our object. Um, make it into a satin. H is going to change the angle straight up and down. Looking good. No jump stitch, we are good. And then I'm not too worried about the jump right here. We've saved a lot. So to can digitize close shape. Come down. H, change it to a satin. And let's just go make sure we're going side to side. We're gonna come down to this portion, digitize close shape. H, you can always be picking these sentence before, but I always, I always forget. This is gonna be hard because of this angle. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add another stitch angle. All right, and then let's see if we can add another one here. So now it creates the two stitch angles and then we're gonna do another one right here, or actually, Yep, add stitch angle, giving us an error. Let's see what we can do to fix it. Right there. That's gonna fix our stitch angles. We're looking pretty good. Let's do the last portion right here. Go ahead and select it. Let's move it out just a little bit. Maybe even shrink it a little bit. Let's go ahead and make it a satin. Make sure our angles are good and they look pretty good. So there is Team Mystic. Let's go ahead and change the color back to that blue. Bring it over. Throw the border around. See how we're looking. <clears throat> All right, let's change the border to that blue. Um, or it could even be a black border. Black might look pretty nice. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and align it. So move that all the way to the bottom. Let's grab all of our other ones. Let's go ahead and group it. If we want it to make sure it is centered, you're going to click the first one, your grouped objects. Go to Arrange, Align in Space, and then Align Centers. And then now that you know the center is right, just take the bottom piece. Let's just go ahead and move it up. And right there, there you have the Team Mystic logo. All right, so here's how the patch turned out. I used a hot knife to kind of clean up the edges, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. So hopefully uh, you guys can try it out yourself and I uh, hope you enjoyed.